Good evening, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. This is Rich again, back for your third and final video blog of the night for Thursday, October 30th, 2014, around 8.24 p.m., a little bit chilly out in Berwick, Massachusetts. It's going to be cold tonight. Tomorrow's going to be in the 50s, and some rain showers on Saturday and Sunday. No snow in the Merrimack Valley area of Massachusetts and New Hampshire. Might be up in the mountains. Some news to report. Game 7 World Series ratings between uh, Giants and the Royals. 23.5 million people watched the 7th and final game of the 2014 World Series and that avoided this World Series to be in the cellar for lowest rated World Series of all time. That's at least good news. And also one little, little tidbit I have to tell you before my final video blog of the night. If you pick up the Berwicka Minute Man paper today if for residents in Berwicka, there's a featured article about Rick and Dick Hoyt. And Rick and Dick Hoyt, that famous, that famous team that runs the marathons all over the world, like um, triathlons, mini marathons, the Boston Marathon, Dick is is stepping down because of his age and stuff. He's only going to do shorter races with Rick. And taking his place to run the marathon this year is a guy by the name of Brian Lyons. He is also my dentist. And Dick Hoyt picked Brian Lyons out of a lot of people. There were some, even some famous athletes who asked to run with Rick at the Boston Marathon. Dick got a, a lot of offers from like famous people and stuff like that, but he picked Brian Lyons because he thought he did, he wanted somebody with a big heart, not like a big name and stuff like that. He, Brian Lyons met like Rick and Dick at a road race back in 1999 and they developed the friendship ever since. And that's a, a great, amazing and story to hear about that. And Brian Lyons' dental office is in Berwick, Massachusetts. That's about it on that, so congratulations to him. My third and final video blog subject of the night is about Robert Parrish. Robert Parrish was one of the best players in the NBA history. He was a center. He played, he's famous for playing 14 years in the National Bath, 14 years with the Boston Celtics. And he was part of the big three with Bird and McHale. Paris was the center, one of the greatest centers in NBA history. Robert Paris was born and he grew up in Shreveport, Sh Sh Louisiana. He played basketball in high school. And he went to college at Sen Terry University and stuff. And he averaged 27, 21.6 points per game and 16.6. Nine wee pounds a game during his college career. There was some controversy about his college career because he took some tests to get into Saint Terry College, but you know they kind of fraudulentized his test, forged his test, and stuff. And Saint Terry's College got academic probation for the NCAA, so his college records really don't count for the for like college career. He played on uh, 1975 U.S. Pan American basketball team. And in 1976, he was drafted by the Golden State Warriors as the first pick in the first round, eighth overall. He played five seasons with the Warriors. He was a decent player with the Warriors, but, you know, he wasn't a star player and stuff. In 1980, the Warriors traded him to the Boston Celtics to be center, and he joined Bird... Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, and they formed the Big Three for the next 12 years. The Big Three were the, were the Celtics. Great front court, one of the best threesomes of all time in NBA history. They won three NBA championships together in 1981, 1984, and 1986. And also, also like Robert Parrish made several NBA All-Star teams. He made nine NBA All-Star teams. He was also for he also like was named to the 
all NBA second team once and he was named to the all NBA team third team one time as well and he was a very good shot blocker very good center kind of a physical player and him and Bird and Mikhail aged together as the th big three and they were kind of ruined by injuries but they won several division championships and went deep into the playoffs with the big three and the big three like were like probably the best collection of players in Boston Celtics history. In 1992, Bird retired, so it was just down to um, Parrish and McHale, but they had a good season. McHale retired in 1993. It only was Parrish, and P Parrish you know, contract wasn't renewed after the 1994 season so he played for Charlotte Hornets for two years and then he played for the Chicago Bulls one final season which was the 21st NBA season he had which is a record for most seasons by an NBA player and he won his fourth championship in 1997 with the Chicago Bulls and then announced his retirement he holds the all-time career record for most games played in NBA history with 1611 and he was named to the NBA's on fifth, fiftieth anniversary all-time team. His number double zero is retired by the Boston Celtics. That happened in nineteen ninety-eight, and he was a first ballot basketball Hall of Famer in two thousand three. His career stats are twenty-three thousand three hundred and thirty-four points, averaging fourteen point five points per game, fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifteen rebounds, nine point one rebounds per game and 2,361 block shots per game, 1.5. And Parrish has been, like, not had a job in basketball for so many years. And I created quite a controversy because there was an article in the front page of the Boston Globe about two years ago that he said that he wishes he had somewhat of an NBA job. He kind of says Bird and McHale he blames him a little bit, saying he, he wanted to be an assistant or somewhere, or like an executive and stuff. That his name value means that NBA teams should interview him and stuff like that, and stuff. And he says Bird and McHale kind of, you know, put him out to pasture without getting a job in the NBA. You see, an NBA team should guarantee him a job, but I say to this. Nobody's guaranteed anything these days. You can't promise somebody a job at all. That's the way the world is these days. No matter who you are, you can you cannot be promised a job anywhere. So that's so that's that's what he's so he should, he's, he's a little mad about that. But he's not. Nobody's promised anything in my these this day and age. And that's about it. I'm Robert Parrish. Tomorrow, Facebook friends and YouTube followers, I'm going to have four video blogs. The first one's going to be about the top 10 greatest TV female news sports anchors of all time in Boston sports history. This is an impressive with list. Then the second one will be the August 1999 through December 1999 of Hooters of Boston st stories about that. That's because a continuation because I didn't have, I had some time constraints today to continue on with that. But well, I'll pick up where I left off in August 1999. Then the Steamboat Savage Field and the fourth and final video blog of the night is my personality profile, which will be about Mr. Hockey Cordy Hell. And don't forget Facebook friends, YouTube followers, send me private messages for future questions and answers, and they'll be answered in a future video blog. And have a good night, Facebook friends and YouTube followers. Bye now.